welcome to gentle yoga. So we're using this playlist Wednesday gentle 22. And let's go ahead and start on the last song and then put it on. Uh, you'll put it on repeat so that you're starting in the last song, but then it's going to cycle through. So you can cue that up. Um, and then we'll press play together. So I do the little countdown. So that'll be three, two, one, play. And then you're going to head over to your mat, seated position. You can get up onto your meditation cushion or um, blocks. And we're going to start with alternate nostril breathing to just settle the body and to start to bring some balance into the right and left hemispheres of the brain. So first, just finding an easy natural breath, that place where nothing needs to be controlled. You can have your oil nearby, we'll use that later. Connecting with your inhale, connecting with your exhale. Reminder to make sure you're not on shuffle on the playlist. But all the songs are pretty mellow, so that's fine. I'm breathing in and breathing out and just let the hands rest in your lap. So even here, it's a chance to slow down, to meet yourself where you are. How often do we give ourselves permission to do that? When emotions rise up, we can tend to want to be in a different state or to push them away. But how do you create space for every part of yourself? And just start with the physical. So how do you create space for the parts of your body that are being impacted by your breath, the parts of your body that you want to bring on board? Sometimes we get on the yoga mat and it's like, oh, that slouched posture. Oh, I don't really want to be here. Oh, I'd rather be doing this. And so let yourself delight in what your body is capable of right now. Becoming more present becoming more conscious because you're choosing it. A little bit less how, a little bit more why. Why do you choose yourself? Why is it important to be fully here? Why do you deserve compassion and acceptance in all of your forms? So we'll move into this pattern of breathing. You can start with your hand. There's a couple of ways to do it, but we're gonna start with like that hang loose. So it's the thumb and the pinky. And so you'll start with your thumb over the left nostril, inhale, and then you take your pinky over that right nostril, exhale through the left. Stay on that side, breathing in. Squeeze the left nostril, exhale right. Breathing in, same side. Switch, breathe out. You don't ever have to keep up with my pace, so find your rhythm. Inhale here.
squeeze and switch, exhale. Switch and exhale. If your arm's getting tired, you can always switch sides or maybe you're able to squeeze the nostrils without using the fingers, also totally fine. Switch, exhale. Long spine, lift your belly and your heart, breathe in. Exhale, switching clear. Slowly draw the breath in. Switch when you're ready. Exhale through the nose. So the mouth is sealed and drawing the breath in. Exhale, switch. For more, your pace, your rhythm. After an exhalation, release the hand and just find that easy breath in and out through both, both nasal passageways at the same time. Freedom in the belly, freedom in your breath. Mouth stays closed. Slowly interlace the fingers. Inhale, put the palms up, reach up. And then exhale, find that cat pose, round forward. Inhale up. Two more. Exhale. This time, inhale up through the nose, exhale through the mouth, release your hands to the sides. <sighs> Interlace other thumb leads, inhale up three times that seated cat cow. Find a connection between front body, back body. Inhale through the nose, reach up. Release the hands to your sides. Exhale through the mouth. Ah. Arms to a T. Slowly twist towards your left. Exhale. Unwind other direction. Let your breath be the most important part of the shape. Two more. Again, your pace, your rhythm, never needing to keep up with what I'm doing. You can always catch up. Exhale, last one. Slowly unwind. Arms to a T, this time give yourself a hug. Just let the head rock side to side. If you wanna take a little bit of a circle with the chin coming down and around, go ahead, but we're not taking the head back here. Two more. Releasing the arms and just shake out your hands. 
So there's energy centers that correspond with each finger. So let yourself just release any stress from the day, typing, driving, swiping, carrying, cooking. Inhale. If you forget which arm is on top, that's totally fine. Maybe you take the awkward grasp, maybe you take the comfortable grasp. Add on those head circles. It doesn't even have to be a deep stretch, it's just a movement. So you're finding that contraction of the hug. Helping to anchor the shoulders. Slowly release, shake it out again. Move your block, your prop, your cushion, whatever you have out of the way, keep it nearby. And we'll grab the oil if you're using one. And just apply a little bit of oil on the bottoms of the feet. I think we've done it before, just a little bit of reflexology. And so this is not about knowing some advanced techniques. You can apply the oil and just rub the bottoms of the feet. And so you're making a connection between those contact points in the hands and the feet. So there's these open energy portals for receiving in the hands, receiving others, receiving yourself, and then through the feet, receiving the earth, that Gaia energy, the grounding. And so you might even feel a little bit of warmth as you start to make that contact between the hands and the feet. Sometimes energy can feel like warmth. And if you want to give a little bit of a thumb walk on the balls of the feet, you can do that. Maybe there's a little crunchiness. That's normal. Okay, slowly you're going to, I'm gonna to attempt to mirror you here, bear with me. Take the left foot under and then hold on to that. Actually, let's just hold on to the thigh. I think I'm not using any of the my lights, so I hope you can see me, okay? And then just start to bend and straighten. So it's just a little bit of a hamstring stretch for that right leg. Flex the foot. You can even lean back slightly. last one. Now you're finding a little bit of an external rotation. It's like as if you were going to take that right foot and place it up on your leg, but you're not. You're just holding it. Let this right arm wrap around the back of the thigh and then just rock. Now, if you can come into a deeper external rotation, go ahead. But we're just at the beginning of class here, so no expectations for any deep stretching. Okay, then place that foot down in front. So it's that easy cross leg position. Inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. Come back up, inhale. Maybe get a little bit of your oil. And then switch sides. So it's the right foot that comes up under. So you're tucking that foot towards the opposite sit bone. And then as if you were gonna to go to grab the foot, but then just grab underneath the hamstring and start to find that bending and straightening. It's not about perfection here, just find that length. Two more. slight external rotation, like you're gonna grab your foot and bring it up and over, but you're just gonna hang out in space here and just rock side to side. One more breath. Place that shin in front. Inhale. Exhale, fold, long spine. Can you breathe into your back body here? Inhale, sit up, take your hands behind you that 
those kickstand hands and just switch the cross of the legs now. Find your easy seat Sukhasana. Inhale up, exhale forward. And then start to walk the hands over to the right, over to the left. One more time, both sides. If you find any sticky spots, you can hang out there. Can you keep both sit bones on the earth as you do this? to the center. Inhale, sit tall, arms to a T, side bend up and over towards the right. And then that left arm is going to sweep up and around like a windmill, largest range of motion possible. One more. Find your side bend. Inhale, up and over, up and over. A grounding through the lower body, freedom through the upper body here. Two more. Through the center. Hands can come behind you, switch the cross of the leg. Left leg in front. Inhale up, exhale fold. Start to walk it over to the left. Nice and easy. So is your body starting to ask for something? Up and over to the right. Up and over. You might feel this more in the QL low back. You might feel this in the hips. And it might feel different on both sides. That's okay. Up and over. Through the center. Inhale, sit tall, arms to a T. Side bend over to the left, and then open up that top arm. You breathe with it. Inhale up, exhale around. Come back to the side bend. Inhale up and over, tick tock. Last one. Then let the feet come out in front of you. And you'll just wrap the arms around the legs. If your forehead easily rests on top of one of your um, forearms, that's fine. Otherwise, if you want a little more height, take the kickstand, interlace the hands, and let your forehead rest on the fist packet. A little tripod kickstand for the forehead. Think about your child's pose. What does that feel like? Can you bring in? That feeling here, allow your breath to fill up the backs of the lungs, back of the rib cage. Even if the spine is curled and curved, just like in your child's pose, there is that cohesive length from the tailbone through the top of the head, not cranking any one part of the spine.
full picture here. Full expression of your back body. The part of your body that you cannot see beyond your line of sight. Is it a feeling from the outside in or is it a feeling from the inside out? Slowly, we'll start to come up. You'll grab your blocks. Depending on the length of your spine, you might have to set this up a little differently. But we're creating the pretend bolster with the blocks. If you want to take a blanket, I forgot my blanket again. If you want to take a blanket over the blocks to soften things up, totally fine. So I'm going to start with um, a little gap here. And then you're slowly pretending almost like you have that foam roller placing it where it's gonna work for you. You want your head supported. And then the legs can stay bent or long, whichever feels best for you. I have my blocks on the lowest setting. Depending how warm you are, it might feel good to have them on that medium setting so that it's creating a little bit more of a massage there uh, next to the shoulder blade. Find that sweet spot and then inhale, arms to the sky, arms to a T, give yourself a hug like we did earlier. Let your arms and your shoulders drop towards the earth. Let your breath guide you into the body, guide you into the shape. Unwind other elbow on top. And so you can find the difference between the hug contraction and then that release of letting the shoulders drop back towards the earth and maybe even letting everything kind of fall towards your chin, totally fine. You don't need to keep a lot of space here. We're doing the opposite. Let the shoulders fall towards the ears. You never want the block compressing and pressing into the lower rib cage. So just adjusting things as needed. If you have a large bolster, you can be using that. Inhale, unwind the arms. Just let the arms fall at your side so the elbows are touching the earth, palms are face up. And find your breath here. And just a couple minutes ago, you were in that seated forward fold, breathing into the back body. Here is there effort that needs to happen to direct the breath to the front of the body. Feel into the ease. Feel into that design of the front body receiving the breath. Depending on the shape of your body, if you do need to have a little bit of a support behind the head, you can use a little rolled up towel. And when you create the roll, it just makes it easy to drop it to a lower setting by undoing that roll versus folding. We're going to take opposite elbows, bring the arms up and back. Let your arms drop behind the ears. They don't need to go all the way down to the earth. Back up, inhale towards the sky. Exhale, come back. One more like that, inhale. 
towards the sky. Exhale. Inhale, arms to a twee, T. Excuse me. Switch which forearm is leading. Up and back. Times. Inhale, let your arms rest at your sides again with the elbows resting on the earth. Inhale, hands to the sky. And then you're going to scissor one arm up, one arm down. Touching the sides, breathing the arms together. Breathing one arm up, one arm down. So if you wanna try switching the blocks to the higher setting, medium setting, prop yourself up on the forearms. And then if you are bringing things higher, a uh, little tip to press, move everything more towards the head so that it's not digging into your back. both arms to the sky. And then is there space to just let the shoulders snuggle back similar to what we did when we took the hug, but the hands are staying reaching up towards the sky. And then inhale, reach your hands to the sky so the shoulders come up. It's that protraction and retraction of the shoulder blade, that gliding action. And then let them sink again. Might get a little Yummy massage, inhale, shoulder blades spread. Exhale, snuggle up against the blocks. Two more. When you're ready, you let the arms rest at your sides like we did earlier, elbows on the earth, palms face up. Find your belly breath. Naturally, the body does, um, um, What's the word I'm looking for? The body has a dominant nostril throughout the day and then it switches. And so see if you can just let your body breathe you right now. You might notice which nostril is taking in a little more air. Let it be. Last arm movement here, hands will come up towards the sky. And then as you bring your arms to a T, you're gonna flex the wrists. So the fingertips are dropping down towards the earth. It's like, think of the opposite of tented fingertips. And then you're gonna take that uh, snowflake shape. So arms up overhead and then down towards the hips. As far as the space you are in will allow. So palms are up, you're flexing at the wrist. Open the palm, shift the forearm, last one.
pick up a hand. Roll out the wrist. If you want to interlace the hands, take that fist packet and then roll it around one direction and then the other. And then slowly prop yourself up. So you'll use your hands to do that. Blocks off to, you're going to use the blocks, one on each side of the body. Come back down, Supta Baddha Konasana, bring the feet together, knees resting over the block. And this time, opposite elbows just like we did and you'll let your arms rest on the earth behind you if that doesn't work for your body take your meditation cushion or your rolled up blanket up overhead so that your arms rest onto the blanket where is it easy to breathe here can you release down towards your root i like to call it the entry point to the comp compost pile of the earth that place of releasing what doesn't serve you, releasing old energies, energies that aren't yours. And it helps to create space for your own lightness of being, space to receive. might even start to feel that heaviness coming into the upper core, upper chest, head, neck, shoulders. Allow this grounding to happen throughout the body. Option to switch which forearm is on top. Safe to let go, safe to breathe fully. Nothing to watch out for or anticipate. I'll even tell you what's coming next. We're doing child's pose after this, so just let yourself be here. Slowly keep your legs where they are and you can either rest your hands on the front of the hip points or find that shape we took earlier, elbows snuggled in, palms face up with your arms resting on the earth. Open body, open mind. Full round of breath. Slowly use your hands to bring the knees up off the blocks. The feet will come as wide as the mat and the knees are going to come in. So we're finding a slight internal rotation of the hands option now to take your hands and rest them on the belly. Continue to find that belly breath. So this is the opposite of sucking everything in. How much space can you let the belly fill here?
how long can you allow your exhalation to be? Space with the inhale with your belly, creating space. And then as you exhale, lengthening time. Inhale, expand. Exhale, lengthen. A couple more, just like that, slow it down. Slowly draw your knees towards the chest. We're making our way up and over towards child's pose with just an option to allow for that low back release. And then when you're ready, coming up and over child's pose, option to take a support, either a block or a, a meditation cushion under the hips. And then the other option is to take blocks under the forearms. So the hands just drip off the blocks. Your pelvis gets to rest on the support and your forehead touches down to the earth. Supported child's pose. If you have a different version that's your favorite or is calling to you or feels good to you, just add it in. Let yourself soften into whichever shape you're taking. So this isn't about cranking a certain alignment. Let yourself fully arrive by a softening, a shifting, a settling. Another breath or two. Slowly, you're going to move the blocks out of the way and you're going to shift your meditation cushion from under the hips or whatever you had under the hips and just bring it around under the forehead and rest here. Two breaths. Slowly come up, take your time. Cushion support off to the side. Coming back up to a seat, Baddha Konasana. Find some height for your spine. And then optional fold forward.
If you have a hard time keeping the spine long, go ahead and take the kickstand hands behind you. I have to plug in the um, computer, so I'm just doing that while you're finding your bottle panasana stretch. It's going to be interesting. Okay. And then come back up one more time. They're either folding forward or you have the kickstand hands behind you and you're finding a long spine. Beautiful, come up. And then slowly we will extend left leg long. One more time, fold. And back up. Long spine up and over. Inhale, sit tall. This time you're going to face that long leg, but take your foot with you and find the seated tree. So your right foot is going to come up inside that left thigh. If you do want your strap, go ahead and grab it. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, find that hamstring stretch. Spread the toes, open the foot. Remember earlier, we were making contact with those energy centers. And so now just open up the bottom of the foot. Clearing out whatever you took on today. Clearing for your path ahead. Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, fold. Come back up. You'll draw that right knee back. Come to your bottom nasana again. Extend right leg long. And then slowly fold. You can use your elbow as a personal assist to find a deeper external rotation. Inhale, back up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sit tall, turn towards your right leg, seated tree. So take that left foot, make contact. You're above the knee. So the left foot is into this soft, meaty portion of the inner thigh. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold at the hips. Open up that foot. So if you were going to stand on the leg, what would be required of muscles, the alignment, can you find that here? Inhale, sit tall. Exhale, fold. If you can reach the foot, go ahead and grab it, hold it. Inhale, sit tall. Ooh, draw that left knee back, Baddha Konasana. And this time we will take the hands behind kickstand. Just lift the heart. Option to close the eyes. Slowly blink the eyes open. Hands will just come right onto the feet again and take just a couple uh, more reflexology points. Thumbs can walk up and down, down towards the heels and then back up again. And if you want, you can get into the meaty portion of the arch of the foot. Yeah, breathing in and breathing out.
starting to elicit even more relaxation just through that um, touch. Okay, just like we did at the beginning of class, I can't remember which side we started on, but it's gonna be the right foot towards opposite sit bone. But this time we are taking the left leg up and over. So you're gonna place it outside that knee with the foot planted. If this is too much for you, the modification is to swing the bottom leg out. So that'll help you to stay more even on the pelvis. Otherwise, if you can keep it tucked under the hip stretch. Option to hug the knee in here, hands behind you, or if you really love a twist, go ahead and twist towards your left. You can hook the elbow or you can hug the knee in. Find your version. Remember, it's time to breathe. If you're in a twist, slowly come out of it. And then if your leg, if the right leg is tucked under, go ahead and swing it out. And then you're gonna hold on to this left foot and find a hamstring stretch. It's a little bit of a pump of the leg here. And if you can't grab the foot, you're just grabbing onto your shin. Wherever the hands can land will work. Let that foot fall to the earth and there is a little bit of, there is space here between the left foot and the right thigh and it'll be the right arm that comes up and back. Lift the hips, flush out the front of that hip. Hips to the earth, we'll do that one more time. Reach up and back. Hips to the earth, both legs long, Paschimottanasana, inhale up, exhale fold. You come up, you're gonna fold that left foot under, right foot up and over. If it's too much, swing that bottom leg out. Option to take the kickstand, hug that knee in, or go ahead with a twist, hooking the left elbow, or you can just hug the knee in. One of the most important um, touch points of this pose is keeping that top foot, so that's your right foot, planted. So if you were gonna stand on that foot, how much contact does the foot need to make on the earth? Can you do that now? Slowly unwind from the twist, swing the bottom leg out. Find some height for the spine. Can you open up the toes and spread the left foot? Go ahead, grab the right foot. Inhale, working towards the hamstring stretch. The leg doesn't need to get all the way straight. Inhale. Exhale. Two more.
as you let that foot touch down, have a little space between the right foot and the left knee, left arm up and back, lift the hips. Exhale down, inhale lift. Exhale down, both legs long, reach up. Exhale, fold. Okay, I'm gonna give two options. If you love a figure four, you'll take that. If you love a frog, you'll take that. If you don't love either, take a happy baby. So if you do have a blanket, that can sometimes be helpful for the frog. If you're taking your figure four, you're laying down and taking either just the figure four or you can thread the needle and hug everything in. If you're taking your frog, just um, being aware of that angle of the knee. So it's a 90 degree angle at the knee rather than letting the feet come in. So it's not like the Baddha shape, you want the feet to just draw a line down from the knees. And if you're in your happy baby, can you find length, length for the spine? Draw the tailbone towards the wall in front of you. Anchor those shoulder blades in and back. If you took that figure four, go ahead and switch to the other side. If you're in happy baby, option to rock side to side. If you're in the frog, just let yourself be there. It's not about how far you end up here. Can you meet yourself where you are, where your body is? If you're in the frog, stay for two more breaths. If you are in your figure four, go ahead and take a happy baby. If you're in happy baby, go ahead and stay where you are. Or if you wanna take those windshield wiper knees, you can bring the feet as wide as the mat and just let the legs fall over to one side and then the other. If you're in your frog, slowly start to walk yourself up. You'll use the hands and the forearms to come up and then up and over onto the spine. Draw the knees in tight like a ball. Option to bring forehead to the knees. Release back down. So we're all together here with the knees in. Exhale, curl in, forehead to the knees. Inhale, head, neck, and shoulders down. Exhale, curl. Inhale, release, last one. Hug the left knee in, extend the right leg long. Switch. If you really love a reclined twist, go ahead and add that on. Bring the right leg across. You can even shift your hips over to the right. And then maybe you even rest the right knee onto a block if it doesn't come easily to the earth. If you're not interested in the twist, take another happy baby or whatever's calling to you. Last breath here. 
As you slowly come back to the center, shift the hips back to the center of the mat. Switch sides, so the left knee up. Shift your hips over to the left. Cross your body, come into the twist. You can take your block up and over. Find your breath here. Energy from the bottoms of the feet all the way, moving up the body through the crown of the head. Slowly unwind. As you bring yourself out of the twist, shift the hips back to the center of the mat. You can even feel the side edges of the mat with your hands. Draw both knees in, rock side to side. And then we'll draw those big knee circles. Knees come around and together. Other direction. Let the arms do the work, but can you relax your throat? Happy baby. Your arms are inside the legs and just the hands go to the outsides of the feet. If you like the rocking, add that in. And finding your version of Shavasana, whatever you like that to be. If you like doing the legs up the wall, feel free to take that over a couch or a bed. If you want an extended Shavasana, you can already go ahead and log off from the video. I am going to suggest taking the blocks under the knees. I like to do that little upside down V-shape. And then let everything fall towards the earth. Let the earth hold you here. And just let the body take up space on the mat. You might even feel that the sacrum and the back of the head are really making this direct conscious contact with the earth. Rather than guiding or directing the breath, can you just let yourself enjoy what your body is providing for you now? The sense of relaxation that's available, the level of awareness that's available, maybe even a little bit more intuition as you prepare for sleep, for rest, for the dream state. sense of intuition can come in as imagination, creativity, or just a feeling of being in flow and things kind of working out. How is the universe helping to create space for what you want? And you let that yearning, that desire, whatever it is that you are calling in, that you would like to manifest, whatever it is that's manifesting you, can you let that feel important of value? 
your little corner of existence here, connected to your heart space, connected to that place of creativity, imagination, space. Another option to tap out and continue to take a longer Shavasana. Otherwise, we'll meet back into a seat with the head hanging down, one hand heart, one hand belly. You can come up onto the blocks or your meditation cushion. One hand heart, one hand belly. So even when you know that this is an ending. Is there a possibility to be open for the next beginning? Breath into breath, moment into moment. Rather than things feeling like these choppy parts, can you allow yourself to flow from one thing to the next, taking all of your goodness with you? taking your body with you. And when your body takes you somewhere, can you connect with the breath and take your breath there? And we'll just seal it in one last breath, palms together, thumbs resting at the forehead center. Last ex exhalation. Thank you.